Hi guys, I just want to go over a little bit about emails that are sent out when people both register and join for the course, for a course. Now, by default, we don't have automations turned on courses, but you can turn them on. So basically what happens at the moment is a system email going out and it will be a generic one, but it will say the name of the course that the person has joined. So this is actually in site settings and in notification settings, you're gonna see that it's Check there now if you turn it off uh, we basically expect you to be setting up automations for each of your course so an automation is an email sequence it can be one it can be a lot of emails that go out when someone actually buys enrolls in your course so we expect if you turn this off for you to set up your automations otherwise they won't receive an email saying they enrolled in the course so if i mouse over the little question mark it says system generated welcome emails for courses signups will not be automatically sent if this is disabled if disabled we assume you will be using automations to handle this okay so by default what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where the emails are so you can customize the system emails and we're going to look at what happens by default first of all so I'm going to jump into this site here and I'm just going to enroll in it and I set myself up with a free plan so that I can test what's happening with emails that are sent out to a user so I'm basically signing up now for free. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose the free option and I'm going to sign in here. Now, please note, it's probably best if you actually sign up from the incognito. So I'm going to take from the question mark just before the question mark. I'm going to grab this URL and I'm going to go into the incognito mode. Now, the reason I've done this is I'm actually logged in as admin. So I wanna go into incognito so it doesn't know me from anybody. So now I'm in this, I can actually start to do it. So I can do it via social media if I wanted to. Uh, I could put my email in here. So I've just put my email address in here, my test email, and I'm gonna click enroll for free. So what's happened now is I've actually enrolled. I've also got um, a upsell here. So um, I could upsell this but I'm not going to I'm going to continue straight to the course so now it's going to ask me to complete my registration so I'm going to do that now and I'm going to hit submit so now I've gone to the course here so you can see so what emails have been sent to me so I'm going to jump into my my gmail account now the one that I signed up for this course with and we're going to look at what emails I've received and how they tie up with Zenla system emails so here are my emails that I have received from the system. So the first email I have got in here is your login details. So this is actually just registering for the course. So we just have a look at this. It says, thank you for signing up to Surf Dude. So it's a registration. So when I actually typed in my registration, finished my registration by putting my password and my name in, it then sent me a login details for this. So it then sent me another email from here where I actually enrolled in the course. So it says, congratulations, you've enrolled in this course and it gives you the course URL access page there as well um, obviously you'd still use your password and username which, or email that you use to sign up so this has come now if you mouse over this you're also going to say it says do not reply at zenla, newzenla.com so these are system emails sent out through the system okay this is important to understand. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to turn it off. Um, well, before I turn it off, I'm going to show you how you can customize these system emails inside the site. So back in the site now, what we're going to do to get to where the system emails are is we're going to come to languages here. And down the bottom, we've got system emails. And we can basically look through these. So you can see which ones have been sent. So we can go enroll to my course manually by admin. That is an email. And all of these I suggest that you go and modify. And what we want is we want um, the free plan. You see this one? There's different ones for different plans. So that's for subscription. This is for paid plans. And this is the one that's sent from free plan. So that would be this one here. The free plan one so you're going to notice that it's going to say the same thing here okay so let's go down to free plan open this up and there you go it says 
congratulations you enrolled then it gives plan name these are personalizations that you can add so this is an automatically sent out one for every free plan it sends the same one it just puts the plan name the plan price the course url so it pulls that data in in whichever course they've gone to now obviously if they were going to subscription they would then receive this email telling them payment due so it's worth definitely going in here and modernizing it or changing it so you can do things like in here you can put your logo at the top maybe change the wording keep these um personalizations or if you do remove them remember to add them by going to personalization here where you can choose what's going on and what goes in there but always remember to test it as well so if we were to actually go and let me just go to the welcome email which is the other one thanks for signing up let me just show you across here and go back to this is the first one i received so thank you for signing up the surf dudes as you can see there it's the same thank you for signing up the score which is called surf dudes so it's just put that information in there so if we were to turn this off um, some of these emails will still fire out such as the welcome some of these ones password resets and um, these kind of ones fire out so it's definitely worth going through all of these and making sure that it fits with your wording and your branding especially if you've got logos and things like that so definitely go and change all of those but if you decide that you actually want to send out a series of emails or you want to have full control over it in automations you can easily do that by coming into site going to notification settings and then turning off the welcome emails there which means now when I go into courses I need to make sure that when I'm in the course that I make sure I activate automations here and these will take over from where the system emails did not Okay, so that's the difference. Now, the other good thing about this is that system emails fire out to you as admin, or they come from you as uh, Zenla here. Do not reply at Zenla. But when you do automations, they will show that it's coming from your domain. So your domain, um, whatever it is at yourdomain.com will show in here. So with that in mind, you need to make sure that under integrations that you come down to this the Zenla mail if you're using Zenla mail just make sure that you have your domain in there and your email in there and, and name and also that you've done email domain authentication as well this is really important okay so then you can go ahead and start to set up your automations so that's where the emails, any emails that are coming out to notify you of enrolments. So you as admin will actually receive emails on notifications. But as far as looking after and administrating the site, inside of your automations for a course, you could set up another user. We do suggest that it's under the same domain. So user one at anydomain.com, user two at anydomain.com, that kind of thing. But once you go into automations, you're gonna see here on enroll, this is emails that are sent out to the user when they enroll. And you can basically put where you want that to come from. So if you've got another user that you want to administrate this, then if you put that in there, then they'll see that when it drops into their inbox. And if they reply to it, it will go back to your um, email that you've put in there. So you might have a, um, a VA helping you out and you might want them to look after any feedback or questions. The other option is to have it as the domain, as the actual admin email and inside your mail itself, put a support email in there and have that go to someone so that's how you can do it you can change it in here and then it will it will work like that so remember that if you're using system emails it is do not reply so they've got nowhere to send back to so make sure that you definitely put a support email in here okay so that they can contact you if you're using system emails if you're using automations you can do what i said here you can either put the va's email in there or you can have your admin email in there and then just put a support email down at the bottom of each of your automation emails so i think that kind of explains it all and uh, that's how it works